G-Spot Massage is a fabulous thing if the receiver of it is setting her own pace. And that's the piece that's usually missing. So often G-Spot Massage is taught as this is the ritual you do, um, rose petals and other things, and then you make sure that she's comfortable and you make sure that she's willing to receive it. You hear the language? Mm -hmm. So, and then this is what you do and these are the strokes you do and, um, and so it, it's presented as if the activity is what's important. And that, I believe, is where the mistake is. What's important is not the activity. What's important is that she chooses what happens moment by moment. Mm -hmm. So when she is choosing what happens moment by moment, you may or may not, the genitals may or may not be desired to be touched. And if they are, she may or may not desire for you to go inside. And if, you, if she does desire for you to go inside, she may or may not want pressure on her G-spot or attention on her G-spot. So, uh, in most of the ways that G-spot massage is taught, there is that sort of lip service given to consent. But I don't know of anyone who teaches really how to follow what the <coughs> receiver wants. Because the receiver, as you know, will go along with stuff that they don't want because we all do that at times. I had a gal come once who, um, she'd been seeing me for years off and on, and she was very, she's very much a fan of this work, and, and she saw me after not seeing me for a couple years, and she wanted to, after a breakup, she wanted to just like have a wonderful sensual massage time on the table. I went, great, so I said, you know, you undress to the level that you want to, and get yourself comfortable how you want to get comfortable. And as it turned out, as we started, and I started with, where would you like my hands to start? And she said, actually, I'd like you to just put your hands on my belly. So I put her hands on my belly. And I said, I'm going to leave them here until you tell me that you want something different. And she just sighed this big sigh of relief. Mm -hmm. And after a while, she said, start moving and include my chest and my belly. So we did that. And she directed me a bit. And as it turned out, she came in thinking that she probably wanted a yoni massage, vulva massage. But after we were there a while, she realized that, actually, you know, I just want, you know, this other kind of touch. And as it turned out, uh, I think at the end, probably she asked me to rest my hand over her vulva, but that was it. And then, she, then came up her self-doubt about, oh my gosh, is there something wrong with me because I didn't want the whole thing. Mm. And um, I reminded her that we were here for what she wanted, not for what she thought she was going to want. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> or for what she thought I wanted to do or that somebody had some idea of what she was supposed to want. And it was a great learning for me or reminder for me of, how easy it is to go with the program if there's a program. And that what she ended up doing was noticing what she wanted, being true to that and speaking to that, and that made a, that was a huge gift that would never have happened if we had gone with the program mm -hmm. of doing this G-spot thing that somebody said is supposed to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, the G-spot massage itself. What if they have gradually asked for that and now here you are, here's the G-spot. So I do want to address that as well because people ask about it. Um, the G-spot has, is a, a ton of nerves, very, very rich in nerve endings. And because of that, it has a lot of um, connections with emotional centers memories, fears, assumptions, thoughts, and that's why you'll hear it said that the G-spot massage can be very powerful because it's connected with a lot of emotions and <clears throat> memories and stuff. If your hands on her vulva and 
you think it's time, oh, it's time, you know, if we're going to do this G-spot massage, we better get going, and you say, may I enter, which most of them will teach you to say, may I enter. Mm -hmm. Why is that the wrong question? Taking. Mm -hmm. Because <coughs> may I enter or are you ready means that she should be ready. For what? For the thing that's on the program. Mm -hmm. The question to ask is, I'm going to stay right here until you tell me what you, that you want something different. And I will not enter unless and until you ask me. It might never happen, not happen some other session. But I am not going to enter unless and until you ask me to. And, oh, it would be a big sigh of relief. I mean, you can feel it right now. <coughs> Um, so suppose that that's already happened and you are entering and you are your fingers on the on the G spot and um, and actually that's a bit of a misnomer because it doesn't really matter where your finger is anatomy blah 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 what matters is is it where she wants it <laughs> so if she wants it in this spot who cares what it's called if she wants it in this other place, who cares what that's called? It's where she wants it, and she needs to be um, directing you, not the other way. But it was a great sort of dramatic example of how easy it is for us to think that we have to push against ourselves to have a breakthrough, when actually it's following where the pleasure is that changes your body physiology, engages your brain a different way, then you feel what you're So that's the G-spot <laughs> question. It doesn't matter what you call it or where it is. What matters is, is it where she, is your finger where she wants it? That's the question. Not, is it the G-spot or not? Generally speaking, I want them to notice what they want because when you start offering something, you deprive them of the opportunity to notice what they want. You want to create, you slow down enough so that they have the opportunity to notice what they want because most of us have shut down our ability to notice what we, we want because we're so busy going along with the program. Yeah, the whole thing is pretty much you tell me where to put my hands and I'll leave them there until you want them somewhere different. Mm -hmm. When do you give a G-spot massage? So, it's possible for someone to walk in the door because they've heard that there's this great thing, oh, you've got to go get a G-spot massage. So they come to you because, well, I've heard this is great thing. And therefore, I want one. But if then you're, you're back there on that tree of like, well, what skills do they need in order to act for a G-spot massage to be useful to them mm -hmm. and not overwhelming to them? Mm -hmm. And the skill they need is to be able to sense their skin and to be able to verbalize what it is they want step by step. If they cannot verbalize what they want step by step, the, it's very doubtful that G-spot massage would be useful for them. What's more likely is that it will be overwhelming and um, it will reinforce their pattern to go along with stuff that's not useful to anyone. You start with, how do you want me to touch you for three minutes? And it may take them an hour, but that's okay. That's the lesson for today. And then when you do that, then you ask them again. And then it'll take them only half an hour. And then you ask them again, it'll take them only 15 minutes. So, I mean, it's, it's ridiculously simple. Mm -hmm. um, and if, if you ask the person, how do you want me to touch you for three minutes, and they just like, I don't know, then you just wait there and be gentle and kind. Because and, it, it quite often takes time. That's okay. we got all the time. You know, we got an hour and a half in this session. Lots of time. In that situation, I'd say something like, I can totally take you there. It's going to take some time, and so there's some things I'm going to have to unravel. And um, I'm going to sit with you through anything that's difficult. 
So, how do you want to be touched right now for three minutes? I don't know, and then it's really hard, or then maybe they're crying, or like, I don't know, I hate this question. <laughs> and you're just sitting there with them. You don't think that's a breakthrough experience? That's a breakthrough experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they are definitely getting it. And uh, you could also just address the fact, you know, you have in mind that this particular type of massage or thing might be fabulous for you, and it probably will be when you are ready for it. And I am not going to do something to you that is overwhelming to you. Mm -hmm. I'm, it's, it's unconscionable for me to do that, and I am not going to do it. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is teach you how to notice what you want step by step. And some of those times will be uncomfortable, and some of them will be wonderful. But that's what I'm going to show you. I wouldn't be fair to you if I was taking you faster than you were ready for.